It looks like the makers of the Assassin's Creed movie are already planning their next contract. Variety reports that Ubisoft, Fox, and New Regency are developing a sequel to the upcoming big screen adaptation of the killer game franchise. The first Assassin's Creed movie won't be out until 2016, so the potential sequel is likely in the very early planning stages. This is actually very common in Hollywood. Most big budget movies are set up as the first installment of an entire series of films, with sequels ready to be greenlit as soon as favorable box office returns come in. The fact that Assassin's Creed is already an established brand thanks to the success of the games means that the filmmakers are probably very confident that it will be a hit. Welcome back. And that's not the only video game that's being turned into a movie. Legendary Pictures and Contradiction Films have officially announced that they're developing a feature-length film based on the new game, Mighty No. 9. Producer Tim Carter first revealed that the film was in development on EP Live last year, and now we know that it will be a digital movie release via online platforms. Legendary and Contradiction had a similar release strategy for their last video game adaptation, Dead Rising Watchtower. The Dead Rising games and Mighty No. 9 have both been made by KG and Afune, and he'll be lending creative input on the new film. It's unclear if the Mighty No. 9 movie will be live action or animated, but we'll keep you up to date on the latest. The game arrives September 15th. Video game movies are a thing, people. Here to talk about that with me today is Marissa Roberto. Hi. What do you think? Are you enthused by uh, the studio's kind of uh, idea that Assassin's Creed is going to be successful enough to warrant a sequel? Does I can't it? believe that already. I mean, yeah. I suppose we should believe it because there are so many Assassin's Creed sequels mm -hmm. when it comes to our video game world. Do you think they'll so have one every year as an <laughs> Assassin's Creed movie Good every year? Mr. Lucas. Um, probably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can be honest, if the, yeah. If the accountants could have their way, right? <laughs> one every year. Yeah. Uh, maybe one every other year probably would be more realistic. Uh, yes. But yeah, in many senses that. of the word, that would be much more realistic. <laughs> All right, now this one seems a little bit more down to earth because we know Tim Carter. He's been on the show before. Mighty Number no. 9 as a digital movie. Uh, with Legendary makes a lot yeah, of sense, right? I really like the connection here, and yes. I love Tim Carter. He's so fantastic, and he really does put all of his heart into these projects. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. This is going to be something. Well, the, the thing that's great about Tim is that he, he gravitates between movies and games. He worked on the Sleeping Dogs video game, wrote the script for that. So he's got a real understanding of how TV shows and movies and video games can all kind yeah. of work together. And I'm kind of envious the way he jumps between yes. worlds like this, and then his worlds collide in such a special way. Well, he has to hustle. That guy works really, really hard, but that's what's hey, exciting. I I, you do, I know. <laughs> but he, 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 that's what's exciting about this, is that he saw an opportunity with Mighty Number no. 9, which is not even out yet. We don't even know how good the game is going to yeah. be, although I played a little bit of it at E3, and oh. I was blown away. It was, okay. it was absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's a and 2D Mega Man type game, but it just was so effortlessly wonderful to play, and the animation is gorgeous, and the okay. characters are cool. Oh. All right. Well, Right now, we've got to jump into some more of our E3 coverage. Scott caught up with the GM of Rare for a look at Rare Replay and Sea of Thieves. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.